The dawn of 32-bit machines has arrived. The spanking new Atari Acorn and Amigas make the present 16-bit Mega Drive Super NES and Amiga 600s look positively weeny. Tonight we compare the three new boys with help from Alistair Borden from Atari, Simon Lovesy from Acorn and Kelly Sumner from Commodore. First of all, why the new machines? Well, the Atari Falcon is aimed at the home user as a revolutionary new home computer. All singing or dancing. Mum and Dad can do their desktop publishing, word processing and run the family business whilst the kids are enjoying the latest in uh, stunning games. The uh, person who wants quality graphics, quality sound, a machine that is versatile and easy to use. Uh, 65,000 colours. Each pixel can be a different colour. 4,096 colours. And at any one time can display 256 colours on the screen. 16.7 million colours. This has got 16-bit stereo recording, 16-bit stereo playback, a quality better than CD or DAT tapes. A standard, the A3010, comes with eight stereo channels built in. The Amiga 1200 has four channel stereo sound. Currently there are over 50 games being developed. Uh, many of these will be released in the first three months of 1993. Currently there are over 250 games available, but this is growing rapidly. 1,500 to 2,000 currently work with the Amiga 1200. <laughs> By January or February uh, of this year, you would probably see something like 20 or 25 games which are only available on the Amiga 1200.